What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Avery here, and I wanted to make this video to talk about the death of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, <laughs> Konami has just updated their um, event schedule, and it's it's a whole lot of dog shit. They basically did what the community was saying uh, maybe a couple months back where they might as well cancel events throughout the rest of the year since they kept on pushing it off. Because if you remember, they started this whole shit show back in like March. They said, okay, we're delaying until March 30th. Then they said, okay, until April 7th. Then they said April 30th. And then it's just gone on and on and on. So we've been at this for like three or four months now. And I was interested to see what they would say today. And sure enough, they have come out and said uh, the following. As we monitor developments related to the COVID-19 pandemic, we continue to take seriously the guidelines and recommendations put forth by government health, blah, blah, blah. Prioritize the health and safety of our asshole community. I'm just kidding. <laughs> of our toxic community, right? Uh, we're making the following changes to our event schedule. Uh, so YCS Minneapolis, that was the one YCS that wasn't canceled, surprisingly. They finally went and canceled that. Um, and then they canceled all nationals that were originally postponed. I think they should just cancel them to begin with. And then the big one here is all organized playing events, promotional events, Postpone indefinitely until further notice. If you want to keep up with us, which is pointless at this point, go to these pages, Twitter and Facebook, where we talk about this tune card versus this tune card, and we don't respond to any of your comments about when we're reopening events. Believe me, I tried commenting on something, and they didn't respond because that's Konami. They don't interact with their community. And... I was hoping that they would say something like, we're going to open up in certain states. We're going to, you know, kind of go on a state by state, case by case basis. I know here in Florida, we recently had a huge spike in cases. Um, and it, it's, it's a shame. It really is a shame. And I believe I had said in my last update video how I was talking about possibly quitting the game if this went on. And um, I think I am definitely going to quit the game now. Um, indefinitely, you know, might as well use Konami's shitty ass term because. If, if you think about it, depending on how long they postpone events for, let's just say worst case scenario, they postpone them until the end of the year, December 31st, 20, you know, January 1st, 2021. Let's say they postpone all events until then. You do realize that our ban lists for the rest of this year are going to be pointless, right? Because they're going to do shit like, oh, let's bring this back. Let's bring that back. Let's give the community something else to play with. Uh, because they're not going to go and ban cards like Link Cross, like Needle Fiber, most likely. Because of the fact that you haven't had any quote unquote real events to play in with these cards. So, my prediction is that for the rest of this year, we're probably going to be dealing with Dragma full power. We're going to be dealing with Needle Fiber and Deskbot and Link Cross shenanigans. And that's not something I really want to deal with. I mean, I've been having fun playing Sky Striker, but you know, you can only have so much fun in an online tournament setting for so long. You know, I, I mean, people were even telling me, oh, well, Avery, you can do online tournaments, you can play online, and you can do all these things. You know, that gets boring after a while. You know, yeah, you can do remote duels, which are a crock of shit, because I know, as I said in my last video, I know of several players here in Florida that will easily cheat on remote duels, and that they'll stack, and they'll do everything else. And I don't want to deal with that. Um, there's not even any... Uh, local card shops here in Jacksonville, Florida that are even doing remote duels. The only ones that are, are doing remote duels in Florida is like one location in Deltona, one in Orlando, one in Tampa. Um, and it's like, I don't even know if I can even compete in those because technically I'm not in their area. I don't know. Um, on top of that, I also don't want to have to pay for an online tournament. I think that's a crock of shit. I think that's stupid, uh, especially whenever, you know, you're just going to get ransacked by people who actually bought cards, which I think is completely idiotic. And so I think that this is the death of the game because people are, even if they want to do remote duels, they're not going to want to deal with the bullshit of Needle Fiber and Link Cross. And if if they want to go and play in an Unreal event like what um what was it Core TCG or uh PP it was PPG that said okay Needle Fiber is banned and uh, Scarlet Sanguine is banned or whatever you know that that's a fake tournament. I'm sorry, it's not real. You know, you're not going to get real tournament results from that shit. And so I, I, I don't want to deal with that crap. I really don't. You want to postpone events indefinitely. I'm assuming that it's for the rest of the year. I don't need to play. I can keep on selling my cards um, and just making money. If you've bought cards, I'm sorry, but that was foolish of you. You need to go and sell all your cards and just wait until all this blows over. Um, and at this point... 
And my recording cut out. That was very strange. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I'm sure people are wondering, well, Avery, you know, why would you want to quit the game just because events are postponed? You can still play test and things like that. Again, the ban list is going to be pointless at, at this rate. And on top of that, too, you know, if our ban list is going to be, let's say, you know, pretty much more useless than toilet paper at this point, then you're going to be dealing with all these decks at full power. And on top of that, too, we're going to be getting further and further and further and further away from when this COVID, um, what do you call it, uh, quarantine, I can't think of words to say, originally started. And before you know it, we're going to be getting into more sets, into more sets, and into more sets. And before you know it, it's going to be like the game is going to be so different than from when this quarantine crap first started to where it's like the game is completely different. People may be out of the loop, even if they've been playing online, you know, things may be different IRL. And it's just, I feel that the more time that we spend postponing events, the more it's going to be difficult for people to get back into the game. And, uh, you know, especially when the balance is going to most likely be useless at this point, because Konami doesn't want to hit cards that people haven't been able to even use in actual IRL competitive competitive events. So. I think that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. I'm done with the game until further notice, probably even permanently, because I don't want to be dealing with all this shit at full power. You know, I think the majority of people will agree that the game is not in a healthy state right now. Once we get Dragma, it's just going to be even worse. Um, I mean, yeah, the card prices, I feel like, are going to tank for the most part. And um, I think the game is just on a dying slate. You know, Konami's going to be losing more and more sales and... It's going to turn into force of will. <laughs> it's going to be irrelevant. So, you know, yes, all card games are in the same boat, but I think something like this is just, it's really going to kill it. Or at the very least, it's its going to make Konami take a huge hit in profits, and it's just not something I want to support. It's really asinine, and I don't like that Konami's not interacting with us more. They're just giving us these monthly updates, and now everything is just postponed indefinitely. You know, why waste my time? So, uh, if you guys still enjoy the game, good luck to you, but the more sets that we get, the more the game's going to evolve, and it's just going to be more bullshit with Needle Fibers and Link Cross and things like that. And online, online Yu-Gi-Oh! can only entertain me so long when I actually want to play IRL. I enjoy playing IRL much more than just going on EDO Pro or Dueling Book or whatever the case may be. So, and again, I'm not going to do remote duels. I refuse because people are going to be pricks, and they're going to cheat. I'm sorry. I'm not doing remote duels. I guarantee you people have already started cheating. Thank you guys for watching, and rest in peace, Yu-Gi-Oh!